This shit called paint on paper. Shout out to Miko White. I say this shit runs deep. I'm talking I fell to my knees on that fateful day. March 26, 2017. You left, gone, poof. I'm thinking, how the fuck did I get here? I thought I did everything right. I mean, I saved myself for you. I made sure you stayed straight 100 every day and every night. I gave you all of me. Fuck that material shit in those just cause gifts. Fuck that playing house. You blessed me with a size 8 ring that was as big as the moon. So how could you leave and seven days later you in a whole nother situation? I can't help but be confused. All I'm thinking is you was a good ass actor, bruh. And for a split moment, I thought about pleading insanity and fucking your shit up. Huh. But after all the pain, the tears, the hurt, the heartache, I had to pick myself up and realize that you was just a fuckboy, a peasant, someone never fit to reign or rule, never fit to sit, be an idol or an example for anyone. Me and you were in two different lanes, two different realms. We were just two different people. But I'm finally okay with that. I had never been in love the way that I was in love with you. I mean, even my daughter's father, whom I was with for nine years, I placed you on this pedestal that you was never fit to be on. I thought I saw something in you that I never saw in anyone else. But that was just me fooling myself, listening to all these other bitches, thinking that my biological clock is ticking. I mean, I'm 28 years old with an 11-year-old with so much potential. And while I'm reaching, I'm reaching. You were content with being at the bottom. So no matter how high I climb, you was just this dead weight steady looking down. I could never move forward with my life because I had this anchor at my foot. So I had to realize what it really was and what it really wasn't and get this fish off my hook. This is my pain on paper. My pain runs deeper than the ocean. I think Future said it best. But that's why I walk around with this vest, protecting my chest. I'm not saying I would never open up to another male species, but before I let you in, I will let you out. <laughs> let you figure it out. Do you want to be with a thought or a queen? It's fairly easy, my nigga. If we're on two different pages, then I'm cool with that. I'm going to sit back, count my blessings, never looking back. This is my pain on paper, and I just want y'all to feel me. I go by the name of Juicy Lucy, and that's two C's. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.